Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So we are doing Aladdin today. This is the first time that I'm doing Aladdin. This is one of those signs that you've seen me do before. It's usually the genie, so let me get that for you. So you can see what that looks like. So this is the one that I usually do with the sign, but I'm gonna show you how to take this sign and add other characters to it. So you see, this is, a, this is the genie. This is gonna be Aladdin. So give me one second and we're going to start piecing it together. So the first thing is we're going to piece the black background together. So this is on its back side. We're going to be taping the back side. The back side is going to go on top of the foam board. So on this one, what we do is you tape two pieces at one time. So I'm going to take these two pieces. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to lift up and push against this one so that we can get it really, really close so that we don't see the seams or it's as minimized as much as possible. So when you do this, because where, where you see the seam is when um, the light catches like the, you know, the cut and then you notice it. So we're trying to make it so that the light doesn't catch right there because we're pushing it up against each other as much as possible. And then in the middle, you're always gonna have stuff on it, right? Like this bottom one, this bottom portion is the big blue and gold sign. So you're not gonna see it in the middle. Where you're gonna see it is at the edge. So we're gonna go back. So like here, let me tape this. Cause we don't, I mean, we still want this to stay together well, but where you wanna make sure is at the edge. You always wanna just get as close as you can and tape it down so that there's no movement whatsoever. When it's stuck together like that and then glued onto the foam board, then it stays flat. There's nothing to catch the light. But if it bends a little bit, you're gonna be, and it catches the light, I mean, just a little bit like this, you're gonna see the, um, the difference in the materials and then you'll be able to see, you know, a little bit of just like the depth. So then it just catches your eye as well. So, all right. These two are together. Now we're gonna put these two pairs together. So you just wanna line it up really well. And then this is why I like doing the grid of squares to slice because everything goes into the corner. It, you know, um, it's easy to put together. If you just randomly start slicing things, you're not gonna, I mean, you're gonna get the clean cut, but when you're putting it together, it's not gonna be as easy. So. Let's tape this down. I think we're good. All this part right here is going to have stuff covering it. Now, the reason why you'll see the head I kept as one because he has black hair. So I wanted to make sure that this part doesn't have um, any seams in it. Okay. So I'm going to flip this over like this because it's a little bit easier to see. And then I want to just line this up really well. And then I'm pushing against it right here. You can see that. Okay. I'm gonna make sure the edge is really good. So I'm taping down the edge without the tape going past the black, because then you're gonna be able to see that. Okay. Let's look over here. Same thing. All right. Our black border is down. Now what you wanna do is, I'm gonna have him standing straight up, so you're not gonna be able to see the head but I'll move, I'll shift it up and down. It's easier for me to see right side up, so I apologize. All right, so here's the blue piece. I always like to put my pieces down because there's always some kind of adjustment that I'm making. So even though it looks obvious where things should go, I'm still always, I don't know, I feel like there's minor adjustments to be made. Now, I've never put him together, so I'm sort of just looking. <laughs> uh, we're just doing this as we go here. So. Now, I wasn't really thinking about this when I did this, so I think he needs to go under. We're going to tuck him under this. Well, I don't know. Let me think about this. All right. Let's see his face. Um, let's see. 
we need the vest to kind of figure out where things go. Let's see, this one is on this side. And you see that point right there? I don't know if you saw the white. The, the purple was coming up a little bit, so I'm gonna push it down. If it doesn't stay down, I'm actually gonna snip it off because the white is really distracting. So i put this down, move this arm over a little bit. Okay. And then he's got this little piece right here. Things are not lining up, so let's see. Got to move this over a little bit. So you see, it's really, I mean, you're gonna need to align things a little bit. There we go. That's looking a little bit better, but it's still not right. So let me move this up a little bit. We know where this arm goes. This arm is right here, like, kind of like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so he's got teeth. Hold on. Let's see. How does this face? This face is tilted a little bit, but there's too much room right there. I don't know what's going on right here. I feel like I'm not getting this right. There. That looks better. There we go. Hi, Aladdin. <laughs> All right, over. Oh, he doesn't have a hat. Okay, interesting. I thought he would have a little piece up on his head, but I don't see a piece. Is there anything for his hat? There isn't. Okay. All right, that's Aladdin for you. He looks really cute, huh? All right, so see, there's still some adjustments to be made right here, I feel like. Move this over a little bit. This arm, move this over a little bit. Here's this little sash. All right, so now we can start to kind of glue down a little bit. So I'm just going to move this a little. Um, so what we can do is we can keep him, his arms up on top. I'm almost wondering if we should tuck this under, like his little cummerbund, if he was wearing a tuxedo. I guess it would be called a cummerbund. All right, I'm gonna do something like this. And I'm gonna remove this piece. I think that looks better. So he's sort of like behind the sign. All right, I think we're ready. I'm gonna be using Barely Art glue today to glue everything down. Um, I'm gonna lift the arms up for a minute. Let's do the sign so we know everything fits. So I'm gonna do the sign first. So I am going to use my Barely Art glue. I'm gonna do the gold first. So I'm gonna lift the gold from down here kind of holding on to it. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. I know where this goes, so I'm gonna do a thin line of glue 
to kind of just put it in place. And here's the time to adjust really quickly. Okay, so I like where that is. And then once this dries, then I can lift the rest up and kind of just glue in around. All right. But I'm not gonna glue this top because I'm gonna tuck the shirt under <laughs> the cummerbund um, after that. Okay, so this is all looking good. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. And I'm gonna continue and look at the the thin line that comes out. It's just perfect. It doesn't go over. I'm sort of just using the outline to kind of know where to go. And this is gonna be enough to hold it down and you'll see how clean it is. And you just wanna press down to get a good press between the material the glue and the bottom layer. And look at that, right? It's, I love this glue. If you need the link to the glue, it's in the link of the video, but also on my Instagram, there's a link. And then I also have a discount code. It's 10% off and it's the useless crafter. So you can get it either through the website or you can just go on Amazon. It's on my Amazon shop as well. I love this for a couple of different projects that, I mean, you just have to use it. Like the chip bags, um, that one, this is amazing for it. I mean, a lot of times, you know, there's um, other materials or, you know, other supplies that you can use and they're, you know, comparable, right? Because they're expensive products and they're good quality. But for certain projects, you definitely need this one. Okay, for the blue, I'm kind of just going to, I'm going to do a lot on the on the black you can kind of hear me putting it down and then i'm going to do the other half and you can always when you don't get to the edge you can always stick some glue dots in between at that point but this will make sure that it's really really down there okay let's do this side I'm gonna do the rest of this gold. So see here, it's glued down. So I'm just gonna take my little bottle and do my strip. Can you see it? Oh yeah, you can see it. Okay, just the perfect amount coming out. Make your adjustment as you put it down. Okay, so my gold is down. I'm not putting this down because I'm gonna lift that, that red part in. I wanna readjust him after I do the blue. Whoa, <laughs> as you can see, he's already moved quite a bit. So we'll readjust in a second. Let's get this part down. And I'm not gonna glue this top part, remember? So I'm just gonna do a lot down here. And just pressing down to make sure there's nothing sticking up. Everything is good. Okay. Let's figure him out one last time. So I kind of want this like this. And I wanted to make sure when I was doing the seams, like slicing, that, you know, the armpit and the hair didn't have any seams. That was important to me because I didn't want that to, to show through. Let's see, where does this go? And I think what I'm going to do is the last part will be his body and his cummerbund. Everything else will go down. Okay, so I like where that is. We can do the face later. Let's do this piece by piece. All right, so I'm gonna get one of my favorite tools, which should always be up, up oh, 
it was already out. This is the quick stick from We Are Memory Keepers. It's tacky on one side and it's kind of hard on this side. This side, I like, you know, you push things down or whatever it is. So I'm going to use that to do the purple right here. So watch, I'm just gonna lift this up and it picks up, I'm gonna put the glue down. And then it goes down, and then I can just kind of use my fingers to detach it, and it's in. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that down. Everything else is still in place. And I did put a little bit too much glue. I don't know if you could see that. Let me grab this real quick. I don't know why I put so much glue. <laughs> that was definitely user error. Okay, um, so this piece here, I think is good. Let's do the arm next. So you can see it can come out thin. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that last one. But you can get the glue on really thin lines and then put his arm down. Now I want to make sure and I'm gonna put glue down here later, but I'm, lift, I'm leaving this up a little bit because we, we need to stick things in. But you wanna make sure that everything else kinda of sticks down. So just put some pressure on it while it's drying so it's, so it's sticking to the black background. And it dries really quickly, so it's not like you have to hold down for a long time. Okay. So now I'm gonna do the purple. And just make sure everything else is still aligned the way you want it to be. All right, so on this one, I'm going to cut off that little tip. So get a good pair of scissors. And I'm just gonna trim it a little bit because it was so delicate right at this tip and so it cut off the glitter a little bit. So I'm gonna trim it off so that the white, there's no separation right there because I feel like it's more distracting like that. All right, so here I'm gonna put down my glue. Turn it over and You want to make sure at the corners it's down it, it dries stuck to the black there we go all right let's do this piece once we do this piece then we can do the cummerbund all right here we go now this paper is from basil I used a different skin color for all the characters. So, I mean, obviously the genie, but um, Jasmine is a different color than Jafar and then Aladdin. So, let me move the face out of the way. I'm just gonna hold this down a little bit to make sure that it's dry. And we'll move his face a little bit. Okay, now this little guy, I'm gonna do like this. So let's get that in there. So on this one, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna grab some glue dots. So give me a second. Hmm. Oh, 
I swear sometimes it's already out. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to grab a few and I'm actually just going to use the glue dots on this one. So it's this one. Oh, I just took it apart. That made it a little bit easier. So I'm going to go down and let's see where can I tuck him in. Okay, there's one piece. And then here's the other piece. Let me put another glue dot here. And then here, this little tip, I'm just going to glue it down. So I'm going to put some glue here and clean that up. All right, so when I'm gluing it down, I just want to hold it down to let that one dry. That's going to look so good. His little, so you can see. I know his eyes look kind of funny right now because we got to fix his face. But now we can glue this down. So I think what I want to do is on the, let's go under and get this blue. Okay. And because I couldn't see, I went a little bit over. Then on the gold, I do. We might have to do a glue dot on the gold. So the nice thing about the gold is it's the majority of it is down. So not a big deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up like this. Now the glue dot is a little bit bigger than my gold, so I'm going to just tuck in the excess, and there, it's down. Okay, so let's fix this side because we were all over that one. So we're gonna want, where does this piece go? Oh, this goes inside like this. So similar to this side, how we trim this off, I'm gonna trim off this tip as well because it got a little bit frazzled. And I'm just gonna cut it off. No one will know. <laughs> there we go. Now we can do this hand too. So actually, let me put that down before I forget. That's all looking good. Okay, let's do this hand and let's glue him down.
and we just want to hold it down. I am probably going to do another glue dot on his fist right here, just to make sure. Lift it up a little bit. Let's get his vest down. So I'm just gonna pick it up like this. And just holding it down, giving it a couple of seconds. Okay, then I'm gonna pick up this guy. So now I'll flip him over this way so we can see him a little bit better with his face. So his face, I'm just going to move it like this. Let's move out the white. We'll do the white at the end after we put his face down. The nice thing about his face is because he has the black hair, it doesn't have to be so exact. We just need to line him up with his, from his neck so it doesn't look weird. Let me get a little bit up here. Okay, flipping him over, making sure all the edges are touching to the black. I'm just gonna hold it down for a little bit and then we'll do the eyes and we'll be done. Well, we'll chase him on the on the outline of the, the foam board. Okay. So let's do this. I'm going to use this. Oh, that was not good. Is this the this is the right one? I don't know why. It's looking funny to me. Okay. Then I'll do this one. Sorry. <laughs> I'm leaning over. Okay. and then his teeth. Yay, he's done. All right, so I am going to grab a foam board. Here we go. And so you see he fits really well on here. We could twist him a little bit to make sure that he's completely on. So here he's on top. He's completely covered here. What you want to do is you want to grab a white, um, because it's a blackboard, um, I'm going to grab a white pencil. I'm like, wait a minute, where is it? Here it is. <laughs> and you're just going to do an outline because we're gonna cut inside the line. We won't see the white marks at all. And 
and I'm not going to cut perfectly on the edges of his hair. I'm just going to make sure the majority of his hair is covered. But I'm not going to do all these jagged edges. So I'm sort of just kind of going around it. I don't even want to touch it because I don't want to bend it at all. So you can see that's what his outline looks like. So you can see right here. So we're going to cut it right now. So this is Excel Blades. It's my new go-to. It's so sharp. I love using it for this project. All right. I like to do smooth strokes, okay? So like one cut, go to the edge, and then do the next one. So I'm going to start right here. You can see this is the line. I'm going to go inside the line so that my, my foam board doesn't go past my character. So I'm going to stick it down. And so you can see my where my cut is. It's inside the line. And I'm just going to cut it like that just so I can be... I can start pulling pieces out. Okay. And you see, did you see how it caught right there? I don't like that. So I like to have, you know, smooth, it's easier. You have a nice edging. We're going to be putting, I'm gonna do the back with black streamers. So I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And you see how it didn't come off as easily as the other pieces? It's because I cut at an angle, so it didn't just pop up. Some of it was still catching. So that's why it's really important to cut inside because as you cut at an angle, let's say I cut like an angle like here. So up here, it's okay. But then start to, at the bottom, I start to see the white from the foam board because look at the foam board, okay? All right, let me cut off this piece right here. So this is the bottom of the sign. Oh my boy got stuck. So this portion, a lot of people um, ask, think, thinks that uh, a lot of people think <laughs> that it takes a long time to do, but it's actually pretty easy. I mean, you see that I'm kind of just going and not being as careful because it, as long as the majority of your character is covered, it's going to give you that sturdiness that we need from it. Um, and you really need a sharp tool. Okay, so here we go. So we have just the head left, you see? The neck is kind of thin, so just be careful as you cut around here that you don't accidentally um, bend the neck right there. So you see what I mean by how I cut at an angle? Because you can see the bottom part of this white. It came out a little bit. So good thing I was in so that you still won't see that. Almost, almost, okay, here we go. All 
All right, Aladdin, here we come. Uh, let me put my lid back on before I cut myself. <laughs> and then I'll show you the back of Aladdin, um, of the genie. Okay, so here's Aladdin, right? Here is the piece. And you just want to make sure, yep, you can't see anything. There. All right, let me show you what the back of the genie looks like. So normally, these characters are just, you know, they're propped up on against the wall, um, you know, as a photo prop. And so I don't worry about the back so much. But on this one, look at the back. We did streamers, black streamers from the Dollar Tree. And so what's nice about this is your edge is also, let me see if you can see it, your, the edging is black instead of white. So I really like how this looks. It's a little bit more time consuming. You're just laying down the strips and you're gluing it. So um, I will do that on another one, not on this one. And then here you just hot glue gun down the um, character onto the foam board. So let me show you what the foam board looks like from behind. So you can have this or you can have the streamer look. So it's totally up to you. All right, if you wanna see the streamer look, it's on the genie. I will do it on another character, but not on this one because I'm so stressed for time right now. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what characters you wanna see. I don't know, just let me know so that I know what kind of videos to do next. All right, see you guys next time.